Stephen here with Pearl Lemon Games. Welcome back to our channel. And this video is a tutorial about UI list layout. And we also have sort of different tutorials, but this is part of the UI creation tutorial that we're making. And on this specific video, I'm gonna teach you about UI list layout. So let's start. So I have here a screen GUI in a frame. So UI list layout is you can add it by choosing the plus, then adding the UI list layout. Now, um, if you notice that I have this BDC and A is nowhere to be found, but if I paste or add the UI list layout, it's gonna be A B D C. I'm gonna tell you why it looks like that in a few, but basically the UI list layout manages all the children of its parent. So it's kind of so, some sort of like the manager of sub. So if I put it on the screen GU, GUI, it's also gonna manage the frame. So it's managing the parent, so let's put it in frame. This are also used on scrolling frames, on inventory, and stuff like that. So let me run you around on the UI list layout. So basically I have here ABDC and let's discuss the properties of UI list layout. So the padding is the padding. We only have one padding. We don't have X and Y because this only goes at either vertical or horizontal and it's just one column. So not like the grid layout, which I've discussed in a separate video that goes for, from either one to four columns, how many want you you have. So anyway, there's the list layout. It's just one column, vertical or horizontal. That's why it only has one padding and it's only used for the space from the uh, label to another label. So padding is just the space. And of course, the field direction, it's either just horizontal or vertical and the horizontal alignment is excuse me so it's either center which would make your UI list on center and on right so with I prefer doing vertical so we can capture it we can actually ca capture it so it's gonna be on center it's gonna be on left so let's stick with the left side and the sort order is layout order is by number and sort order is by name see what's gonna happen here if I choose name it's gonna be a b c d and if I choose layout it's gonna be a b d c now you're wondering how would you know the number but there's no number there's by default or by default it's zero so it's just gonna assume whichever you create first would be the layout or the number one if all of them are zero. But if you want to do it, you have go with one, go with two, go with three, and go with four. Now it's A, B, C, D, and that's the layout order. So now it shouldn't change whether I choose name or I choose layout because I put a layout order. So basically it's the upper upper the lower the number if it's zero it's the one on top but if all of it are zero by default Roblox like get the layout or the order in which comes first like if you create a for it's gonna go there and sometimes it's not so you just better add the layout number there if you're gonna use a layout number and the vertical alignment is of course can be seen on horizontal it can be bottom center or top so those are the properties of ui list layout and i hope you learned something on this video and find it very useful uh, if you like the video press that like button and help us by subscribing to our channel we do upload tutorials daily and if you have any question about the video or about anything else comment down below and we also help in game creation you can visit us at perlemongames.com catch you on another video bye bye